Good girl. That's on. And stand. Good girl. Go the other way. Come on. Walk. Shut on. I walk. Oh, good girl. And stand. And stand. Good girl. You are a good girl. Good girl. Are you a sweaty miss? Good girl. It is official. I am too fat to ride my mare. So since we've been doing all this renovation work and repairing stables and, and sorting out guttering, moving caravans, building fences, and just generally spending so much time down here on the field, the diet has gone completely out of the window. And I've managed to somehow put on about two stone. Two stone is a lot of stonage for me. And because of that, I am now officially too heavy to ride my mare. I do ride a pony. And yes, if I had a 17-2 sports horse or something really stocky and heavy, then this wouldn't be an issue at all. I am only five foot three, but I am early 40s and I really do need to be careful what I'm eating because, unlike a lot of people, I don't need food. I can live on chocolate. Do you want to go through there, Tobes? Hmm? On it. Come on, can have some grass. So, yeah, this has happened. I hope my mare is only 14.1 and I think we've been out once in the past nine months which is just crazy you know we've got birth of the horse box we can go anywhere pretty much and yeah we just haven't been going anywhere because we've just been concentrating solely on what we're doing here so you might be thinking how do you even know if you're too heavy to ride your horse well there's a really simple calculation that you can do and it's called the 20% rule. I know that lately there has been a lot on social media about the 20% rule and people saying, am I too heavy? How do I know if I'm too heavy? And does it really matter? Well, yeah, it does matter. But also, because I haven't been riding and I've just been spending so much time and if you watch our vlogs, then you'll know that I've been spending so much time just on the welfare and getting this field so that it's inhabitable and safe. And yeah, because of that, hope has also piled on the pounds. Look at this. I hope you can tell from this angle. Her ideal weight is about 450 kilos. And at the minute she's waning at just over 550 kilos and that's really not good for her welfare and well keeping her healthy having an overweight horse really does create a lot of problems they can get laminitis 
where their pedal bone can rotate and push you through the sole of their foot. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, don't even want to bear thinking about that. It causes joint pain, joint strain. It can affect their hooves. The weight can make them dish out more. Yeah, and generally their tack won't fit properly. They sweat more. They can't go as far. Yeah, and all of a sudden you're limited to what you can do and where you can go. So I thought the best thing to do is to put me and Hope on a proper diet. Hope isn't fed hard feed at the moment. She's just on the grass, but she's got this whole three acre field. So we need to have that sprayed and get that sorted out. So I'm going to be creating a track system. So at first it's going to be quite a primitive track system where it's electric rope, electric tape and posts and energizers. So that's where we're going to start. And then later on in the year, when the ground gets softer and it's easier for us to put the posts in, we're going to set up a proper track system. That way I'll be able to keep an eye on her weight, get her weight down. But also, also, it means that she needs exercise. Now, if I'm too heavy to sit on her, then I'm too heavy to ride. Obviously, I'm too heavy to take her out and exercise her. But what we can do is lots of lunging and long reining. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing a lot of that with her. Winter is fast approaching us anyway. So they always lose some weight in the winter anyway. So some of you may be thinking, what is the 20% rule and where on earth did it come from? Well, it actually came from the Certified Horsemanship Association and the US Cavalry Manuals of Horse Management, which were published in 1920. Now, I know what you're thinking. 1920? How can something published in 1920 still be relevant today? Well, over the years, there has been so much research put into this to find out what the impact of the weight of a rider and their tack has on a horse. Researchers found that an average adult light riding horse could comfortably carry about 20% of their ideal body weight. Now, notice that I said ideal body weight and not the current body weight. So putting loads of weight on your horse doesn't mean that they can carry more weight. So in 2008, at an Ohio university, researchers evaluated the impact of rider and tack weight. And they did this by monitoring horses' heart rate, their breathing rate, and their overall temperature and their muscle condition while carrying different loads. The loads equaled 15%, 20%, 25%, or right up to 35%. And they found that the 20% rule that was dated right back to 1920 was actually still really relevant and the rule for today. Now, obviously this rule does take into consideration a horse's conformation, how fit they are and how well balanced, the duration and the intensity of the work. Obviously, if you're just plodding around a field, then it's not going to be something as hard a work as if you're playing polo, for instance. It also took into consideration the equipment that was being used and their general hoof care. So let's do the math. I was 14 stone two when I, when it suddenly sprung in my mind that, hang on a minute, I'm too heavy to be riding her. So I joined a local weight loss program thing and I've been going for two weeks now. They've been really friendly and yeah, really nice community vibe and it's lovely. And I've also taken my friend with me as well. It sounds madness really but in the two weeks i've been going i've lost 11 pound so i was 89.8 kilograms and i'm now 84.8 kilograms so that's great now hope's ideal weight 
is 455 kilograms. So if I divide that by five, which will give me a 20%, then my weight needs to be under 91 kilograms, which is fine, but remember you have to take your tack into consideration. Now I have a barefoot leather saddle and I've also got my stirrups. I think the saddle weighs about six kilograms and with my stirrups and leathers and I'm taking the bridle into consideration and the bit, you can add another eight kilograms. So working it all out with the tack and the weight of me, I need to be under 13 stone at least. Like I said, I'm going to be doing lots of lunging. So please come with me on that adventure. And let me know in the comments below if you struggled with this and what you did to get your weight down or get your horse's weight down. It would be really nice to know. Did you join any groups? Did you go on any Facebook pages that helped you? You might have some recipes that I might like to try. That would be nice because at the minute I'm living on tuna and grapes. Not the best. Well, that's the end of this video. This is it a vlog? I'm not even sure. Um, if you've enjoyed it, if you'd like to follow along, then don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell icon so that you get notifications when I post another video. Thank you for watching.